All right, so we're back to the only place where you can make people sit in traffic for so long that an entire civilization will die from it. It's the United States, as represented in Transport Fever 2. This bear is sad because he's alone and bad at stealth. However, he's happy because me playing this game means that I'm going to attempt to kill all of humanity. So I downloaded a map um, that breaks the normal limitations of how big maps are supposed to be in this game. And using this as my Bob Ross style canvas, I want to create a road system that has traffic that will sit for so long that the entire planet would probably die from it. Horrible traffic begins with one man with a top hat, and that's this sad bastard right over here. I don't think that there's anything slower. My god, I was wrong. This hideous contraption goes 17 kilometers per hour. This steam bus traveled over longer distances. Oh, it's gonna travel over some goddamn long distances today. So Transport Fever 2 is a fantastic game because the people that made it have no idea what limitations are. Normal games would force the people to either not take a road that's too long or make them disappear when they've been sitting around for 30 years in game, but not Transport Fever 2. They're perfectly fine with you melting your entire processor and graphics card to the ground. All right, I guess the realm of sadness will begin at Miami. So first things first, we need to make a road that basically spirals around the entire map over and over and over again until it gets into a center point. I don't know where I want people to end up at. It kind of looks like Kansas City. I want my own city. The end of all mankind. It seems appropriate because the sole purpose of this entire city is to create a beacon where everyone will inevitably die trying to get to. Okay, okay, fine. We'll put a Starbucks next to it. An end of mankind without a Starbucks is an end of mankind not worth having. A two-lane street with a speed limit of 50 kilometers per hour. Not like anyone will ever be reaching that. <laughs> One way! Go ahead and turn the pillars off so I don't want to kill myself trying to build this. Oh god! It's gonna be fine, this is this is clearly working. Oh god, just moving my cursor. Got it! This road literally just cored through half of the planet in order to end up where it is. Come on road, we're not done yet! What is this? Can the road just go straight off the map? Okay, we're- it's fine. Everything's gonna- everything's gonna be just fine. Bridge pillar collision, my ass. Okay, I just have to- I have to let the button go before the game realizes that there's an error. Oh, let it go. Let it go right here. Yes! Imagine driving on this, there's no land inside. <laughs> Building this road was the single worst idea I think I've ever had in my life. The only way that this slightly works is by making sure that you release the road before the game stops lagging. If you do it that way, it'll let you build pretty much anything you want. I think the hardest part about this is gonna be trying to make sure that none of these roads ever intersect as I bend them all around the entire map because I would hate for people to be able to take a shortcut to get to their destination. God, I love how making the game lag is a fantastic way of allowing it to say this is fine. Here, watch, ready? See that? Bridge pillar collision. Then you just go like this. This is fine. Bridge pillar collision. Oh really? This is fine. Well, because I suck at planning, Starbucks and the future of mankind were just gonna pass by them. Oh god, what did I do here? Apparently they were not in the middle of the map. There's also now a three mile high roadway that passes along the right of them. God damn it, Montgomery, stop getting in the way. This road is such an unbelievable train wreck right now. Okay, you go out, you're hoping to get Starbucks, but of course, the operating hours are different now. So what do you end up with, Fayetteville? No. Disappointment. Now it is time to build the line. Just cleaning up the roadway of death here, making sure that there's no intersections anywhere. All right, nice. 15 billion miles and most of my sanity and we're ready to rock. Now I think in order to make this work, I actually need multiple bus stops. Okay, let's test this. Okay, I had to kind of glitch this out by using the lag to force a vehicle into a line that doesn't actually have an end. <laughs> the game wouldn't let me do it because it's one way street, so there's technically there's no way back. I tried to make this janky return road here, so now it's just a random road that's like 40 miles in the air. That's okay, I actually don't need this thing to pick anyone up. I just want it to go forward so that everyone gets stuck behind it. You know it's a bad thing when you press the forward button and it takes about 30 seconds for the game to start going forward. What the hell are you doing here? So the day is currently January 1st, 2021. <laughs> All right, let me see what happens if I build a bunch of towns off of this thing. Just saving real quick. I'm updating the road to two different directions. Maybe this will help things out a little bit. Imagine being the guy that laid down this whole road and he's like, all right, boss, 
He's finally done. And then you're like, yeah. Can we make that two lanes instead of a one way? This is what it's like to work for me. Mmm. Nothing like the autosave feature taking about six minutes to save the game. Panning over this sky road is the worst decision I ever made. Anywhere where it has to render that bridge is so bad. Uh, sky road number two, the reckoning. Okay, if I just, if I don't look directly at it, everything's fine. Okay, now to see if I can make the ridiculousness happen. Is this guy driving this 18 wheeler wearing a vest and a tie with a collared shirt? This guy showed up at the wrong job. He's probably like, oh, where's this stop of lumber going to? And they're like, disappointment. And he's like, God, no. Of course he has to get through all this goddamn traffic first before he can get to the ever road. I'm sure the guy ahead of us hasn't gone very far. This is how far it's gone. Okay, now we're legitimately moving, but every time it saves, it takes forever. <laughs> Look at him go. They're moving right along. I can't even keep up with my cursor. But then every truck driver sees something odd in the distance. No, it is the path to please, certain no, death. No. This vehicle needs a different name. <laughs> Y'all ever seen the movie, The Ring? Yeah, you know how, uh, the ring, it's the last thing you see before you die. Same thing here. All right, come on, guys. No big deal. You've only been on the road for, you know, four months. Hold on. I need to get rid of some of the living quarters here because we need a lot more of these. All right, yeah, let's do, uh, let's do 100 of these. 100 of these. Get your mansions out of here. 100 of these. I hate to get rid of this after I spent so much money on it, but it's killing our frame rate. Ah, wonderful. We're starting to get some variations to the pathway of pain. It's a sad day when you have to destroy civilization solely that you can make more truck stops. Might as well do a hundred of these. I get the feeling that 300 vehicles or 400 vehicles that we've made so far is not gonna be enough. It takes so long that I have to use a speed hack in order to move things along. <laughs> okay, the line is becoming absolutely glorious at this point. It's been three years almost. We're not even on the first loop. We're not even a third of the way through the first loop. What you guys didn't know is that the driver here, his beard used to be brown. Those seagulls way in the distance are like, thanks for destroying the atmosphere, asshole. It's a sad day when this bear is out running my train. My god, it's actually run out of vehicles. Yeah, whatever. Give me a hundred more. Quick. This guy was walking down the road over here and he just vanished. He looked at this and he was like, nope. Okay, it has officially been three years now. The line has almost made it to Phoenix. The question now isn't going to be whether or not I can put the traffic all the way through this giant road. It's whether or not my processor can handle the amount of vehicles that I need to do this. Cause it's chewing through all 100 like it's nothing. Okay, we are now at the point where a human being cannot actually see the end of the line. We're also past year four now. I think the part that's blowing my mind the most is because this never ends. No one really here gets to ever move. So the traffic just stays where it is. People move like every once in a while and then it just locks down forever. They're just trying to get down the street. I love how the game keeps telling me that it can't do it and I keep forcing it to do it anyway. It actually took a long, long while, but finally, the traffic is now backed up all the way to the city. Hey, we passed Las Vegas. Only took us five and a half years. The traffic is so long that it can't actually render the vehicles. It renders the price that it costs me to keep this running, but all the little symbols don't show up. So, um, it's been 13 years. We almost made our first revolution at this point. There is no way in hell this game is gonna manage to do this because at this point we're gonna have so, oh my God, I need to make more vehicles. There's gonna be so many damn vehicles on the roadway. Enjoy this moment of clear roads because it's not gonna last long. I thought since these people are gonna be sitting in traffic, you know, forever. I'd write them a little message here real quick. All right, we're almost done here. See, everyone's driving. They're like, ah, oh, look at those beautiful islands off to the right. And then you see it from space. Hold on, can I put, can I put like cities on these? I like how it named it Kansas City, but there's nothing here but regret. I guess we'll name it appropriately. There's currently almost 3,700 vehicles on line number two. Some people have been on it for 15 years. The condition of the vehicle is mediocre. It's totally possible that the vehicle will actually deconstruct before it makes it to the end. Oh my God, it's gonna be fantastic. That's even better than I had anticipated. That means that not only do people get to die in traffic, they never even make it to the end. Oh, here we go. I can totally make someone live on this. Little geography lesson for you. Uh, regret 
is right next to Irvine. All right, guys, listen, you're doing great. You're almost there, okay? That's New York right over there. All you have to do is maybe another um, 10 years at best. I really don't think they'll ever make it this far, but just in case they do. Here we go. It takes like four revolutions to get to this point though. I like that it's right across the way from Atlanta. There's like a random street here. Look at the frogger these guys are playing. Everyone has balls of steel. They just go <laughs> straight through. Thought I got rid of all these intersections, but clearly I missed one. Luckily though, because we're doing a bus stop style thing, they can't do anything but go to where I tell them to. Okay, it's at 38% vehicle condition now. I had wondered what the emission trail looks like. It's not too good. Oh, this is cool. If you look closely, you can actually see the little random random island of regret over here. Okay, it's taken like, uh, whatever, 8,000 vehicles or something, but the game is definitely starting to lag now. Okay, the condition has now dropped to bad, and we've almost done it. The vehicles have almost made a complete circuit around the entire United States. Through the forests, through the mountains, underneath the plains, through the desert, across the water, right next to regret. I just realized this is named Riverside. Actually, Riverside sounds fine. We'll just call it Riverside Agony. Come on, Ring, you're so close. I mean, you, you can't actually see it from here, but there is Florida out there in the distance. You're at 31%, you can do this. This is interesting because the game is starting to stutter. It's starting to create breaks in the traffic. <laughs> Look at it, it's like Morse code. Oh God, things are starting to get pretty bad now. We've almost made it though. Look at how perfectly the lag is breaking up the traffic. <laughs> Please God, auto save. Don't break the game, that's all I ask of you. Just let me get through Florida. Look at how rusted and beaten this thing is. It's been on the road now for 23 years. Oh. Oh God. <laughs> no. <laughs> well, we did it. There's still sounds, but the game doesn't work anymore. How much traffic can the game handle before it quite simply gives up? About 23 years worth. Anyway, folks, hope you enjoyed this episode of Transport Fever 2. <laughs> Till the next time, stay foxy and much love.